The Schmidt Rubin was originally adopted by the Swiss in 1889. And you have to remember, this is a nation of riflemen. They took marksmanship extremely seriously. But by 1911, they knew they needed some changes. The Schmidt Rubin is unusual to American sensibilities. It is a straight pole bolt action, which means that instead of lifting the bolt handle, pulling it back, pushing it forward, and lowering it to eject an empty end chamber around, you just pull the bolt handle straight backward, push it forward, you have a new round in the chamber. The Schmidt Rubin 1911 is a uh, modification and improvement to the original model 1889 uh, Schmidt Rubin rifle in 7.5 millimeter. Uh, the 1889 uh, was very innovative uh, when it came out for a number of reasons. First off, it was one of the first rifles with a box magazine. It uh, was a rifle that had a straight pull action to the bolt and uh, it would use smokeless powder. Uh, really up until then, the, uh, the 1886 LaBelle uh, was using smokeless powder, but that was a tubular magazine uh, in the gun, which prevented that round from being a spitzer or pointed, pointed round uh, due to the nature of having one stacked on top of another, you know, in close proximity to uh, the primer. So all kinds of folks started trying to find a way around this. John Browning with the 1895 Winchester, uh, James Paris Lee uh, with the Remington Lee, and uh, with Schmidt Rubin, uh, with the 1889 and the box magazine there. These firearms are probably best known for the fact that they're straight pull, meaning that the shooter simply grabs a handle on the right side of the, of the firearm, pulls it straight back, that unlocks the action, extracts and ejects a cartridge, and then by pushing straight forward, they feed in a new cartridge. It really makes for a very comfortable pull for a metallic cartridge firing repeating rifle from the end of the 19th century. And the Schmidt Rubens stand out as an interesting moment in the development of small arms, and that's because the two men that jointly designed both the rifle action and the cartridge, they produced a firearm that through this straight pull action could fire a cartridge that used a copper plated or a copper jacketed bullet. This copper jacketing made it possible for bullets to reach higher and higher velocities. The Swiss spent a bit of time in the early 20th century looking at the full-size rifle as opposed to the carbine. Uh, military sentiment at the time was that the carbine, the shorter arm would be much more effective for the vast majority of military uses. However, the Swiss have this deep and strong tradition of civilian marksmanship. And uh, the marksmen, the competitors, won that extra accuracy advantage of the full-length rifle. And so, uh, uh, to a certain extent, keeping the full-length rifle in service was uh, more a product of the desires of the competitive shooters than the actual military need. The Model 1911 Schmidt Rubin rifle, firing the GP11 or 7.5 by 55 millimeter cartridge, is a very successful infantry rifle and quite typical for the time period in certain respects. The rifles today are becoming quite popular. In the military surplus market, the Schmidt Rubens are still affordably priced at a time when other military surplus firearms are not affordably priced. And so they're coming into the United States, they're affordable, they're in great condition, and most people are a bit more familiar with the more common version, the K31 carbine version that was adopted by the Swiss in 1931. Over a half million of those were manufactured, so that's a far more common firearm. But if you have the opportunity to look a little bit farther back in time, look back to those days before the First World War, and you have an opportunity to purchase a Model 1911 rifle, it is an excellent firearm. Most of the Schmidt Rubens you find today are actually K31s, but this is a rifle that you have to remember served from 1889 well into the 1950s. That's all the time that we have for this week. If you like this show and you're not an NRA member, you need to sign up right now. Go to AmericanRifleman.org. I'm Mark Keefe, and I'll see you next week right here on American Rifleman Television.